Ovarine right. Stipe yeah. beats Ovarine. Knockout. First round knockout, yes. Probably. Welcome back, everyone. Not good enough, I uh, to uh, Chaos, we're doing some downtime stuff, which we haven't done in a while. Uh, yeah. I'm uh, learning how to tinker. It's been so crazy busy with all the shit you guys got going on. As far as other people that you see, Soren. Mm -hmm. Or me there. playing the cards all week. So. Uh, right, right, yeah. right. There aren't a lot. Uh, most of the Sexy Badger patronage is known. Just because that's like per capita. It's, there's just so many more of them. See? Um, they also subsequently have a larger known workforce in the Sexy Badger. We'll say. Uh, there are other races as well. I like to think you all bump your heads a lot on doors in this city. <laughs> I like yeah. to think you know the, you're the first one to know when people fart. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! Anyway, Herc, I would imagine busies himself at the sexy badger. At the sexy badger, fun times. Uh, Gotta the, recover, man. The palace of lady favors. Yep. Well, he doesn't really leave. Staying in a nice drunken stupor is yep. his wont. And, uh, of course, Genrock is probably the safest place you've ever been in. Yeah. So you don't have to worry about any kind of crazy stuff ruffians happening. or bandits that gun no. attack or... All, is, all is, is nice and peaceful here. You, you have a few days after your book thing. Yeah. If you're wanting to, there's is there anything that you want to do. I mean, I'm maxed out on my achievements, <clears throat> so I don't really want to get anything. Um, and yeah, no. Nope. Said there was a letter. Hmm. Said yeah, there was a letter. Said. Yes, a letter arrives for, um, in general for your group, like chaos, but specifically there is some stuff in there for Sora. Neat. Uh, it's from the Guildmaster. It's from Kagan. Who? Kagan. Kag. Uh, and you also notice that many of the members of Penumbra that you've seen kind of pass through mm -hmm. uh, do kind of stop and take particular interest in you. Not to, like, kill you or anything, but because of your new found Authority? Shadowiness? Shadowiness. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's because I'm black, <coughs> isn't it? So. <laughs> oh, man. I don't have anything written out for the note, and that's fine. Be the gist of it is. <laughs> it's whatever. Uh, I mean, I don't know what the note says. I didn't write it. But, uh. <laughs> the gist of it is that Kagan would like to speak with Soren, specifically Soren, uh, as soon as, as possible. That you can make it back to uh, Sartek City because of your newfound shadowiness. Blackness. Yeah, your newfound blackness. That's and of cool. course, there is some con congratulatory notations in there about your. You finally killed a bottle of shit. About your current, <laughs> like your group's current status. Status. Uh, he also is requesting information uh, about some of your status because he didn't quite catch. Like he's not fully up to speed, but he's pretty close. Like you know, the letter arrived where you were staying. So, okay. did That's you want to write a note or? Uh, sure. As soon as I hear about it, yeah, I'll write a letter back to him. Okay. Or um, that. Whoever, I mean, I don't First care. First off, uh, what what is our apparently? What are our what are our objectives at the moment? To get those other pieces of the pearl. Oh, shit, what are they? The pieces of the pearl. We of wanted to go to the another city on this side, and then a place on the other side of the planet, right? Oh yeah, yeah. Um, the disturbances. Yeah. The Dark Elf, there's an Underdark. 
feel like that bridge needs to Yeah, that, that's the, 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 the hard part. Uh, yeah. We don't do the hard part first. Yeah. And it was a part on a boat. I want to get this freaking evil we should find the evil tinkerer. dead eyes out of my head. We find the tinkerer. Yeah, he's the one that would know how to get these eyes out of me. Do we have any lead on where the tinkerer might be? Not as far as I know. <laughs> no. No. You have no idea. And the uh, the city, no one here would know. Yes. Okay. I have the uh, places. So Ganrock, okay. you're right now. You're going to deal with. Um, I think the last thing is one of those two major bad Skyland. Yeah. Yeah. And Imako. Imako is on on. One continent, and then New Skyland's on the other one. New Skyland's going to be uh, <laughs> dangerous. No, huh. that's Menzo Baron's on. Yeah. Essentially. What? Where? Menzo Baron's on. I don't know what that the is. The Dark Elf. Oh, okay, yeah. Sorry, uh, I don't speak Spanish, Joe. Did you? You have the time That's ever. Yes, I do. Yeah. yeah because. <laughs> How long is this? Okay. Yeah. 30? 15 minutes. 15 minutes. Yeah. You Skyline and really Mozilla do have time right. E. Mako, so I, I am a K.O. Yeah. This one's probably 5, right? That was 10. The this small is 10? one's 5. So, oh. yeah. E. Mako is this? on this continent with us, though. No. Oh. It's on the... Mm, my sort of Asian continent. Like so, both you to the, and... To the west of Pydaren, which is the continent you're on now. So both Yskylum and Imako are on that continent, though? Nope. Oh. Yskylum's on a different continent. It's south. Okay. The, the Imako is west, on okay. the western continent. Like, west from where you are. Yeah. Or east, I guess, when you go If you want to go all the way around. Where you go. Uh, and then, of course, south is Chagaus, the other place. Okay. Which is actually where Fade is right now. Not in Yskylum, but... In All right, modern time, but not in game time because they're like fucking a hundred episodes above, ahead of us. Yeah, yeah, they are a little bit ahead. That's fair. They're probably somewhere else. I don't know. Anyway, it's not relevant. Yeah, it's not relevant. You got out wrestled. Um. All right. Irony. Let's get to the thing. <laughs> a week Chocolate. passes peacefully. That's weird. People. Write some notes. Rand didn't even get into a bar fight. Meditated Rand did not get into any bar fights. I was busy tinkering. Yes. You Where actually you don't see Chiron it? for most of the week, except for like in the morning for breakfast, and then in the evening for dinner. And then he's up super early again, and rinse and repeat for the week. At the end of the week, you are now proficient with Tinkerer's Tools, and can do various things with that talk about um, kind of like what rock gnomes can do. Like what making, gnomes? making little rock gnomes. Oh. Uh, there's there's like specific info in there as far as what they can do with tinkering, like making little automatons and shit. There was a plan for all this. And shit. I'm sure. It's What's that type of word for it? And shit. Alright. And shit. In the morning. And by the way, you do hear, um, like every day at a certain time, the bells ring, all the gnomes go out. The chant. Do the chant. It's the prayer hour. It, yeah. Essential. They're Muslim. That's what it is. <sighs> no. Yes. No, I'm actually timing stuff. Yeah. <laughs> so keep timing. I think I'm doing. And the. Okay. There's actually a pretty sizable gathering outside of, like outside in the town square on this particular day. The, arch, the Archdeacon has had this um, s stage set up. There's like, there's, there's a podium on it and everything. And he has a uh, nether golden chest kind of sitting on a table next to the uh, 
podium. Well, it, it actually looks very much like yours. That's nice. <clears throat> and also standing next to that table, there are some items that we'll get into later. But he kind of addresses the whole crowd. Uh, today we have an adventuring group that is pursuing the pieces of the pearl of Ab. And they are all like... <laughs> so these people, even though it's a little like, off for us you? to find out even what it like, was, they all know. All, all like, of the gnomes know about it. Okay. Like, they all are nodding and kind of understanding. A lot of the other people that kind of come out that are not gnome are just like, huh? Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, wh- cool. What's that? Cool. But the gnomes know about it. And they're yeah. like, whoa. Gnomes know. Now, as you know, uh, none of them are gnomes. So we're going to be making them honorary members, obviously not full members, of our, of the Ganrock Antiquities Reasons. Investigation, Acquisition, and Safeguard. Or Guides. Please step forward. Okay. And we all, I, I like, walk like, forward. I don't yeah, know about you guys. We all just walk forward. Yeah. That's what we really need to. Yeah. Um, and there's, the you see the, um, Chewie doesn't know metal. Let's see the next one. Uh, you see the three gnomes that escorted you into, into Ganra, kind of standing at the bottom, uh, or like in front of the podium, off the stage, kind of in front of the, the crowd. And they kind of guide you over, they stand you just so, and they have you all uh, kneel, essentially. <laughs> We're still a foot taller than us. You're still... At the, uh, yeah. Except for Rand, you're you're still pretty much as tall and taller <laughs> than they are. Especially Herc. <laughs> Herc, Herc still has a good like foot on. They're going on, to the last of his metal one. You know the first part of what they are going to have you recite because you hear it like every day. Um, Now this is the law of note, as ancient and true as the sky. The gnome who shall keep it will prosper, but the gnome who shall break it must die. As the secrets that dwell in the tower, and like you're all kind of repeating this, I won't have you do it unless you you want to. Um, As as the secrets that dwell in the tower, and its powers that call it in the deck, the strength of the tech is the gnome, and the strength of the gnome is the tech. Clean daily your weapons and armor. Ensure function, but never too much. For ready must you always be to protect gnomish secrets as such. For many desire our secrets, desperate pursuit of personal power. Ever ready to give up your life in defense of Naut's wondrous tower. And actually, as you're saying it, it's really subtle at first. But as you're like going through the chant, you can feel that the words themselves do have power. Um, feel the magicalness. <coughs> Maybe and not a spell as much as just you can tell it's the oath means something. Yeah. Um, and like the whole Hulk out cheers and super excited. <sighs> um, you're all. Now, honorary members of Gaius, and then kind of like like the crowd. Some of the crowd sticks around because they're super curious about because they see the other stuff on the podium and they don't know what it is. But a, a, a lot of the crowd, especially like the non gnomes, just kind of go about their business, and it's, it's so like it's the town bit. square kind of clears a bit. Now, as, as we discussed, we've had our tinkerers working on some stuff for you. 
Soren. Huh. He kind of beckons to this uh, little robot guy. Mm, probably about as tall as Rand is. Looks a little bit like Cake. Right. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna teach you to play cards. <laughs> <laughs> like, w w what are you wanting this to be able to do? Because you had a week to kind of discuss what you're trying to. to Literally, do. act more like a familiar than anything else. Uh, basically, if we're in battle, I want it to be able to transport things across the battlefield without me having to move. Like, if one of them gets shot, and we have to send potion across. I don't want to have to waste a turn doing that. So I want it to have like more than just walking ability. I like it to carry be, things around. I like it to be able to carry things if you know it's easier. Dig under the battlefield and across quickly. So we'd have a burrow speed and reasonably walking speed, and it's a multi-purpose thing. Dave actually said it best. Kind of like transformer. <laughs> Wanted okay. to have that. Um, in order to I don't really need it to have any attack ability. Right. In order to streamline combat, though, if you're using it in combat, it's going to be an action to give it a command. Um, so, like, you'll, you'll be able to move, say, and then, like, command the, the thing. And then that's it. And, like, a bonus action. Still save your turn, because you wouldn't have to run, then run back. Yeah. 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 Well, um, I'm fine with that. So, okay. Fair enough. Uh, I'll come up with what it's called and what it fully looks like and everything uh, later. We're almost done. This will probably be our last. Unless you want to keep going. I've, this yeah. is probably good for the last one of the... Yeah, it's about I'm one o'clock now. That's, gonna that's fair. That's fair. Okay. Plus, i got to get all those stuff off your computer and the camera. Yes, we do. So, I will do the... Uh, <laughs> The other thing that you see, it it it's going to have a, a your your Mac thing is going to have a decent like walking speed and burrow speed, uh, and I'll I'll figure out something else for you as well. Mm -hmm. The other item, which was very briefly touched upon, the arch the arch deacon had some uh, ideas, and it turned out pretty well. It looks like a saddle for bark. Okay. Uh, but it's not like leather. It's padded underneath, so it's like not super uncomfortable. Right. Um, but it looks silk. it looks like it's, it looks steampunk essentially. Like it's got gearing in it, and it has uh, it has some buttons. That was weird. Ooh. <laughs> uh, Specifically, it has. What do I say here? Uh, retractable armor. It has three buttons. Okay. <clears throat> and he kind of goes up. He actually walks past you to Bart. To Bart. Because uh, Bart's, you know, yeah. self aware now. Yeah. Uh, Bart, may I put this on you? And Bart is like super curious and yes you're good Dude, like I, what's, what's, what's going on what's, like, yeah. Yeah. What's, what is it do the thing do the thing do the thing <coughs> so and, like, he sets happens. it on to bark and Whirl. it Whirl. Um, this like leather strap kind of shoots out and connects so it's just like hitches on yeah. like comfortably and quick yeah, yeah. <coughs> and he kind of beckons you over this is um, this is a, a very unique saddle that we have created. You do also see some some faint magic runes on it. Um, if you'll sit down. Now I, I just tell Bart, "Hey, you mind, buddy?" And obviously he's still my yeah, buddy. Yeah. So yeah, but I ask him. I yeah. make sure to ask. So Can't get wait. on to Bart. There are. Uh, Access to it later. Parks saddle. There are three buttons. 
a um, let's see, white button, black button, and a red button. Does that eject? First thing you press is Turbo speaking. The first thing you press is, right back. is the What's up? black button. Like while you're sitting. Yeah. You press the black button. And this uh, like you see sheets of metal begin to come out of the of the saddle and encase the bark. So bark Is it like Matt the Block's armor and lost in space? You remember that? I, I don't, don't, I don't remember that either. Like ever remember that. It's like armadillo stuff. On the principle. Yeah, kinda. Yeah. I've seen Iron Man, but that looks steady. It's kinda like Iron Man 2. Yeah. Um more like Iron Man 3. <laughs> Or Iron Man as well. So this is armor. Strike bark. I really didn't mean Iron Man 3 this oh, time because it comes out of skin. So uh, That's the one we're putting <coughs> things in. Is it? Yeah. The red button, when he pushes it. Two, he still uh, had the uh, he had the triangle. I did, but I thought in three he had the one. Oh, like, by the way. No, that was the image. Uh, Huh? The red button only works if the black button's already been pressed. Right. Okay, so armor has to go on first. Yeah. Is the other guy's like and by the way, yeah. before the he pushes the red button, he kind of like backs everyone, backs everyone away. Backs everyone, away. <laughs> backs everyone away. Like from the front. He pushes the red button, and uh, these um, like sort of nozzles come out of the base piece. And fire shoots out. <laughs> fire breath. My dog has flamethrowers. I'm cooler than all of you. No, your dog is cooler. <laughs> uh, the final button, the white button, works independently of any of, you, of the other buttons. Damn Be careful nice. with this one. Um, and bark is like. Freaking out. He's like super stoked about all this stuff. Yes! Fire, yes! Very bark, much well. Cooked meat, well! Cooked meat. He will allow you. He's gonna kind of back up. He's gonna allow you to press the white button. Let's see if this does, old buddy. I grab on. I don't know what's gonna happen. I grab on, reach down, and press the white button. And that's how Rand lost his arm. <laughs> um, you familiar with Archangel, right? Marvel Comics. Huh? Kind of. Oh, the metal wings. Yeah. Oh, so you're talking ah! about apocalypse. Bark can fly. What the fuck? Bark can get a flight speed. <laughs> Bark's become more useful than any of us on the battlefield. <laughs> <laughs> now bear in mind. Oh, also, when whenever that button is pressed, like the wings come out. Yeah. And these uh, metal straps connect, oh, like around your legs. Yeah. So strapped you know, in. I'm strapped so in. So you're strapped yeah. in, so you can't be so thrown. That's what I figured on. with that and with yeah. the armor in general. Yeah. 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 Now. No, actually, I did not. I watched a little bit of it. Oh, wow. oh. <coughs> goodness. That's actually pretty fun. It looks like it. I just it, I, I didn't have time to watch all the time. Now again, busy that day. this is all... Is like, pressing the buttons is going to be a bonus section. Right. Uh, utilizing them is more action. An action, like, like yeah. Except for the armor part. That's just activate. We'll say this. The black and white buttons to, to press them is just going to be bonus action. Right. Because it's just stuff that happens and yeah. then you get some after that. Uh, the red button is an action to use because it's an actual thing. Yeah. It has to recharge. And it's even still, even like after all this like, like armor like on, kind of underneath the armor, he's still a dog. Yes, but, I yeah. have to work up his, his awakened stats still. Now that is in return, or that was 
for the four, one book I didn't want to give up, whatever it was. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> and Bark immediately just, like, takes off without me. I mean, with no, me, but yeah. I mean, like, me on the back, and I'm just letting him go. <laughs> and you're on there, and everyone is like, that's really Whoa. cool. Yeah, he's like, oh my god, cats can't do this. <laughs> said, we're out of time for this part. I think we're pretty much done for the night. I have a lot of items to create, to finalize, anyway, in the creation thereof. And, of course, to... Uh, well, let's do this first. After that's all presented, uh, you do get the the gold box. Cool. Got to get the gold box. Dibs. <clears throat> Hold another one. Called dibs. Well, it's it's just going to be open so you can put the other two pieces with your current two pieces into box? your box. No, we can have the box. The box. Sorry. Uh, but they they connect. And there's more. You're also given a warning from the Archdeacon. In kind of a, a uh, it's, it's, uh, it's friendly-ish in its, its, in its term. It's a friendly threat. This mech, this little animatronic guy, as well as the armor, saddle, saddle rather, um, also have some uh, like runes and stuff on it where we can keep an eye on you. Um, in the event of betraying code of Gaius, in the event of giving away or selling the pieces of the Pearl of Abaddon, in the event of, of course, death, a mech strike force will be sent to recover the pieces of the pearl. If the scrying runes are removed, <coughs> a mech strike force will be sent to recover the pieces of Adam. Do not try to remove any runes. I'm sure that won't be any kind of issue. It's not like we're going to be like communicating with you through the mech or anything, uh, or through the saddle. It's just we can keep an eye on you, make sure that everything's going well. Understood. Any questions? Nope. Nope. All right. We need kind of uh, thank you. He says thank you, and then he goes his business, and you're now free to, I guess, continue the journey, wherever you're, are you heading back to Sartak City for a bit, or? Probably a good idea. Yeah, I think we'd have probably to. Probably regroup in the center. Well, apparently yeah. our boss wants to talk to me. Oh, yeah. I'm in trouble. Oh, no. <laughs> With that, I we are going to go ahead and end this session. It's been Ooh. great. Could you put these? Later. Bye-bye.